Hi everyone, in today's video I have some updates to share with you regarding changes to the H-1B visa lottery and changes to the way the Department of Labor will be calculating the prevailing wage for H-1B visas and employer-sponsored green cards. So make sure to stick around. Hi everyone, so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Michael Ashuri and I'm a US immigration lawyer based in Los Angeles, California. At my law firm, we regularly post videos to make sure that you're up to date with what's happening in immigration. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button now. Also, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that YouTube knows to share this information with more people. So let's get started. As I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna share some updates with you regarding the H-1B visa lottery and a new rule by the Department of Labor for how it's going to begin calculating the prevailing wage for H-1B visas and PERM labor certifications. So let's get started. The first change that I'd like to talk about is regarding a new rule that was announced by the Department of Labor that will increase the wages that US employers will have to pay to foreign workers that they sponsor under the H-1B visa program and when sponsoring foreign workers for a green card through the PERM labor certification process. So let me explain what's going on. When a US employer wants to sponsor a foreign worker for either an H-1B visa or if they wanna sponsor a foreign worker for a green card, through the PERM labor certification process, the US employer is required to pay the foreign worker the prevailing wage for the position. The prevailing wage is what a similarly situated US worker would get paid for that position. And the idea behind having a prevailing wage is to protect the interests of US workers. If there was no prevailing wage, the fear is that US employers would seek to hire foreign workers to save money by paying the foreign workers less than what US workers would get paid. So for that reason, we have what's called a prevailing wage. Well, recently, the Department of Labor has announced that they're going to change the way that they calculate the prevailing wage. And under this new system, we can expect to see the prevailing wage increase for several positions. So the next question that I want to answer is when are these changes going to take effect? Well, the new rule that was announced by the Department of Labor will go into effect on March 15th, 2021, and it will phase in through July 1st, 2022. Now the next question that I wanna answer is, why is the Department of Labor making these changes? Well, the reason that they've provided is that they feel that under this new system, the prevailing wages will more accurately reflect what US workers would get paid for the position. So again, these changes are being implemented to better protect US workers. So now that we've discussed the increase in prevailing wages, let's talk about the second change change that I want to discuss with you today, which is changes to the H-1B visa lottery. So for those of you that don't know, the H-1B visa has historically been subject to a lottery. Basically, there's a tremendous demand for the H-1B visa and a limited supply to the number of H-1B visas that are available each year. As a result, we've had a lottery system where people enter into a lottery and if they're fortunate enough to get selected in the lottery, then their application for an H-1B visa can get processed. Now, historically, this lottery has been conducted more or less at random. Well, recently, the Department of Homeland Security has announced a new rule where the H-1B visa lottery will be based on the prevailing wage that the employer will be offering to the foreign worker. Under the new system, higher wages will get priority over lower wages. Again, the stated reason for these changes is to protect U.S. workers. So there you have it. In this video, we discussed two new changes. The first change is regarding the Department of Labor changing the way that they calculate the prevailing wage for H-1B petitions and employer-sponsored green cards through the PERM labor certification process. These changes will result in an increase in prevailing wages. The second change that we talked about is regarding the H-1B visa lottery. The Department of Homeland Security has announced a new rule that will change the way that the H-1B lottery is conducted so that higher wages will be given priority 
in the lottery process. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that can benefit from this information, make sure to share this video with them. We're all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this information that can actually see this video, the better. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with all the videos that we're posting. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.